Gotcha. All right. Good. Patrick. Emma, it's not normal to have a week off after just two games. Do you feel like it's helpful though, and that you get to kind of see what you have for a couple of games and then some time to adjust to it? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we had two games. Um, I mean, unfortunately there were two losses, but I feel like losses are, you know, it's not all bad because you get to learn from them. Um, so, I mean, it gave us time to sit down, break down film and, um, you know, work on some stuff to get us ready for Atlanta. What are you seeing? Um, and I know you're not always floor in these moments, but like in starts of games as you guys try to um, improve the starts. Yeah, I, we've been working on it in practice. We've been getting out to slow starts. Um, I mean, I feel like everybody sees that, but um, that was an emph emphasis of us um, this past week was us starting practice a little bit faster, um, us getting into the game mode a little bit faster so that when we do start games, it, it carries over. At the same time, are you pleased with the resiliency you've seen later in games, at least in these first two? Oh, yeah, for sure. It's totally different from last year to this year. It's no quit. I mean, of course, like last year, we always we, we we felt down. We were losing a lot. But even now in the losses that we had, that we were still fighting. Grace, how would you evaluate where you are just kind of individually now, maybe versus the beginning camp? Yeah, I think I'm learning a little bit every day. I have great vets around me. Um, and it's always good to have like a week between games in my situation to, um, you know, play, get some reps of, of like live game action. Um, so we get really good film and I can, you know, continue to learn. But, um, you know, the week, the week off between games has been great. Does that maybe feel a little bit more like college cadence, whereas eventually you'll get into a much more hectic schedule of mid-June where you're playing every other day. But right now you get an opportunity to kind of react to what you're seeing and get some time on the practice floor. Yeah, it's definitely, you know, you have more time between games and college. So it's a little bit more, you know, like I'm used to, but uh, I'm definitely excited to get going, having games back to back um, and just, you know, getting ready to play. I know it was at the end of the game there, but what did the first WNBA minutes mean for you? Um, you came in and got a bucket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, it's good to get my first bucket underneath my belt. Uh, now I can just, you know, relax and, and play. Uh, got my nerves out, so now I'm ready to go. What are the keys, Grace, to Atlanta? Um, they're super aggressive on both sides of the ball, so I think um, we can't let them throw the first punch. we got to come out and, and match their aggression from jump. Going to be in front of a sellout crowd, so we can't, you know, we know they're going to, it's going to be a game to runs. They're going to go in their runs, but, uh, you know, we just got to be resilient in those moments, um, like we've been practicing, and, uh, you know, punch them, punch them back for the first punch. Anything you add to that that she hasn't already said? I think she said it all. That's all I got. All right. Thank you, guys. Oh. Good job, you baby. Thank you.